Boxing legends are absolutely terrified of what they're seeing. I've heard that some of the greatest boxers in history have been watching Tyson's training videos, and they're just in awe of the power, speed, and intensity he's displaying. The first couple of rounds are going to be dangerous for Paul, even at 58, I don't care. The ex-legendary trainer of Tyson, Teddy Atlas, is rumored to be completely shocked by what he saw. Word is Atlas couldn't believe his eyes. For him to be this blown away by Tyson's condition, it really speaks volumes. People are saying that in the footage, Tyson's speed, power, and focus are all on point. He's moving like a man possessed, like he's got something to prove. I don't know how much confidence that Jake Paul have in all of this. Oh boy, the plot thickens. Evander Holyfield, Tyson's former rival, got a peek at some leaked training footage of Iron Mike preparing for the Jake Paul fight. And apparently Holyfield was absolutely shocked by what he saw. Holyfield couldn't believe the incredible physical and mental shape Tyson is in. We're talking about a guy who's pushing 60, but he's looking like he could step into the ring tomorrow and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. Just imagine Holyfield's reaction. This is a man who's shared the ring with Tyson multiple times, who knows firsthand just how powerful and skilled a fighter Tyson is. And even he's impressed by what he's seeing in these training clips. This news has got to be a huge confidence boost for Tyson and his camp. If he's impressing his former rivals, the guys who know him best, then he must be doing something right. And it's got to be a bit intimidating for Jake Paul too. I mean, how do you prepare to face a legend who's apparently in the best shape of his life? Jake Paul has gotten a lot better with his boxing over the days, but Mike Tyson, even at 57, 58, however old he is, he's still Mike Tyson. When I box him in 21, he still punched like Mike Tyson. If he hits anybody square on the chin, it's going to be problematic. Now, when a guy like Roy Jones Jr. is blown away by your training, you know you're doing something right. Jones is a former opponent of Tyson's and a boxing great in his own right, so he knows a thing or two about what it takes to excel in the sport. From what I've heard, Jones couldn't believe his eyes when he saw the leaked footage. He's reportedly been raving about Tyson's condition, saying that he looks like he's ready to take on the world. That's a pretty big endorsement coming from someone who's been in the ring with Tyson before. If Tyson is in such incredible shape, both physically and mentally, it could spell big trouble for Paul come fight night. Have you heard the latest bombshell rumor that YouTuber Kenny K.O. dropped? So I'll give you guys the answer early. Is Jake Paul natural? No. I can say that with pretty certain confidence in that statement, mainly because as you heard me mention, I know a lot of the people he trains with and I have heard things. Allegedly, and I want to stress that this is completely unconfirmed. He's claiming that Jake Paul is using performance enhancements. But before we get to that, I need your help. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I need your help. So I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and help me out. Can you believe it? Now let's remember that there's no hard evidence to back up these claims, and it's important not to jump to conclusions without proof. But still, if there's even a shred of truth to this, it could be a massive scandal in the making. I mean, think about it. Jake Paul has been making a name for himself in the boxing world, taking on some pretty big names and holding his own in the ring. If it turns out that he's been using performance enhancing this whole time, it could completely tarnish his reputation. Speaking well, of bumps. right over it. Those, those little bumps you had on your face kind of alarmed me. You wouldn't be happy to take PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses right now, no, I'm just asking. go ahead. Because I was just wondering, I looked at your face, it looked kind of silly. You had some rage and you're acting all unorthodox, you know, those are signs of the PEDs. I'm, I'm enraged. I'm not enraged at all. Are you taking PEDs? No, sir. Not at all? Okay. No, sir. Do That's you think what he's I on like. PEDs? I don't care. But we need to take everything with a grain of salt until we have more information. And let's not forget about the accusations Dana White threw at Jake Paul a couple of years back. Jake, you never responded to the challenge. You publicly stated that I use co I do not. So I told you, you could randomly co test me for the next 10 years. I believe that you're a cheater, and I believe that you use steroids. So I want to randomly steroid test you for the next two years. 
The UFC president straight up said he thought Jake was using steroids. Talk about adding fuel to the fire. Now, to be fair, White didn't provide any concrete evidence to support his claim. But it just goes to show how much bad blood there is between Jake and some of the biggest names in combat sports. I mean, if Tyson catches wind of this, you can bet he'll be even more motivated to take Paul down and prove that he doesn't need any shortcuts to win. It's definitely a situation worth keeping an eye on. Boxing legends are absolutely terrified of what they're seeing. I've heard that some of the greatest boxers in history have been watching Tyson's training videos, and they're just in awe of the power, speed, and intensity he's displaying. They're saying things like, Tyson looks like he's in his prime again, and Jake Paul has no idea what he's getting himself into. It's not hard to see why they're so impressed. In the footage, Tyson is unleashing those trademark combinations, bobbing and weaving like he did back in the day. His punches look just as crisp and devastating as ever, and his footwork is still on point. Even guys who fought Tyson in his heyday are coming out and praising him. They're talking about how he's always been a force of nature in the ring, and how age hasn't seemed to slow him down one bit. It's like they're almost feeling a little bit sorry for Jake Paul, knowing what he's going to be up against. I've got to say, it's pretty incredible to see the kind of shape he's in at 56 years old. His footwork is crisp, his head movement is on point, and those signature hooks and uppercuts look as devastating as ever. It's clear that Tyson has been putting in some serious work to get ready for this fight. His trainer, Rafael Cordero, has been talking about how dedicated Tyson is in the gym, pushing himself to the limit every single day. And boy, does it show. I think a lot of people were skeptical when this fight was first announced, wondering if Tyson would be able to keep up with a young, hungry fighter like Jake Paul. But after seeing the shape Tyson's in, I think it's safe to say that he's not coming into this fight just for a paycheck. He's coming to prove a point and to show the world that he's still got it. Of course, looking good in training and performing well on fight night are two different things. But if Tyson can bring even a fraction of the speed, power, and intensity we've seen in those training clips into the ring with him, Jake Paul could be in for a very long night. So add this to the whole Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul saga. Apparently, famous boxing promoter Eddie Hearn has entered the chat, and he's not holding back. Eddie, your reaction to Jake saying he will become a world champion? Everyone's entitled to have a dream. No, seriously. I'm being serious. I think there's absolutely no way he can, he can beat a world champion and become world champion. But I will say, he's improving a lot. He's dedicated to the sport. I don't know how good he is because he hasn't really faced a real fighter yet. It's not his fault. He signed to fight Tommy Fury. Well, Tommy a five-time five world champion and Tyron Woodley's a real Mate, fighter. Mate, he's not, he's not a real boxer. He's not Jake. Well, I Jake, mean, the, the first can't. skill in MMA is boxing. Jake, he, Jake, he, he won the UFC Jake, championship Jake, with the right Jake. hand. He's a great UFC fighter. But you, fighter. you consider Tommy Fury a real boxer? Yes. A lot of people see him as more of a celebrity than a serious athlete. But coming from someone as influential in the boxing world as Eddie Hearn, that's got to hurt. Hearn's supposed comments really add fuel to the fire in this whole Tyson-Paul beef. On one side, you've got Jake trash-talking Tyson. On the other, you've got Tyson promising to teach the young YouTuber a lesson in the ring. And now, with Hearn's alleged remarks, it's like the boxing establishment is picking sides. It makes you wonder how Jake is going to respond to all of this. Will he brush it off as just more haters trying to bring him down? Or will he feel the need to prove himself even more? to show that he's not just some wannabe boxer. This fight is getting more and more personal by the day. Anthony Joshua, the former heavyweight champion, has rumored to have said that he thinks Jake Paul might actually have a shot at winning. His reasoning? Jake's got youth on his side. It's an interesting perspective coming from someone who knows a thing or two about the sport. Joshua's basically saying that age could be a significant factor in this fight. And let's be real, he's got a point. Jake Paul is a young, hungry fighter who's been actively competing in recent years. Tyson, on the other hand, hasn't fought professionally in almost two decades, but that's not the only concern being raised by boxing legends. Deontay Wilder, another former heavyweight champ, is reportedly worried about the potential for brain damage. He's pointing out that Tyson's been out of the game for a long time, and that stepping back into the ring at his age could be really dangerous, a recipe for trouble. It's a valid concern. Boxing is a brutal sport, and the risk of serious injury is always present. 
Wilder seems to be suggesting that Tyson's age and time away from the sport could make him more vulnerable to the kind of damage that can have lasting effects. These comments from Joshua and Wilder add another layer to the whole debate surrounding this fight. On one hand, you've got people who are excited to see a legend like Tyson back in action, and who believe his experience and skill will win out. On the other, you've got folks who are worried about the very real risks involved, and who think Jake Paul's youth and recent experience give him a real chance. But I believe I have what it takes to, to beat him, and I know this is the toughest test of my life, and it's an honor to be in there with Mike, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be the one who gets my hand raised. All right, we will see. I know I'll be watching along with millions of other people. You know how he likes to get inside on people. That's his move. Faint, faint, get inside, kidney, kidney, uppercut. I mean, you've seen the results. Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He's questioning your power, Jake. But what I promise to the people is on July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power. And I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. So let's play devil's advocate for a moment and consider why Jake Paul might actually have a shot at winning this fight. First off, there's the age factor. Jake is 27, while Tyson is 57. That's a pretty significant gap and it could play a big role in how the fight unfolds. Jake's youth and athleticism could give him an edge in terms of speed, endurance, and recovery between rounds. Plus, let's not forget that Jake's been actively fighting and training in recent years, while Tyson's been out of the professional game for a long time. Jake's had some impressive wins against former MMA fighters and even a former NBA player. He's shown that he's got some real boxing skills and knockout power. There's also the question of Tyson's ability to take a punch at his age. He's been through a lot of wars in the ring over the years, and that takes a toll on a fighter's chin. If Jake can land some clean shots, it could spell trouble for Tyson. However, despite all of these factors working in Jake's favor, I still think Tyson's going to come out on top. Why? Because he's Mike freaking Tyson, that's why. This is a guy who struck fear into the hearts of opponents in his prime. His speed, power, and intimidation factor were unmatched. Listen, we're here we did enough talk and I'm ready to fight. And even though he's older now, he's still got that same fire and determination, as we saw in the leaked training footage. Plus, with all the trash talk and disrespect coming from Jake, you know Tyson's going to be extra motivated to put him in his place. He's not just fighting for a paycheck, he's fighting for his pride and his legacy. When you combine Tyson's experience, his natural boxing ability, and his sheer desire to win, I think he's going to be too much for Jake to handle. It might not be a cakewalk, but I see Tyson winning this fight and reminding everyone why he's one of the greatest to ever step into the ring. I mentioned many details of this saga, but there's something else very huge that is happening in the wait for this fight. So check out this deep dive where I'll tell you other rumors that are buzzing in the boxing community. You will learn new shocking claims that are attracting people's attention. Click on the screen to watch the deep dive and thanks for watching this video.